her across the way in 302. She's uh, come up missing. Saffron? She's a friend of yours? Well, I wouldn't say that we share secrets, but we look out for each other. She didn't say anything to you uh, that leads you to believe she was distressed, maybe a fight with a lover? She seemed fine the last time I saw her. Uh-huh. And when was that? Um, we had dinner last week. Did she have any friends over or parties? No, actually, Saffron's pretty solitary. Oh, pretty girl like that. Well, and famous, I understand, though I, I don't go to the movies much myself. Well, like I said, I, I don't know much about her private life. This is Saffron Nelson? Maybe. It's hard to see. She's an actress, so every time you see her, she's a different person. So, you've had no contact with her since your dinner together. You don't seem too concerned. Well, how do we know that she's missing? Look, Ms. Alwyn, maybe I should be the detective here. I think it'll all make sense in the grand scheme of things. Oh, do you mind? Oh. So, last week, did you cook for her here? Or did you order in? Order in? God, never. Um, hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Oh. Schaefer Farms venison loin with parsnip gratin and onion confit. Do you keep track of everything you cook? Do you keep track of everything you ask? I do everything I make on a special occasion. Are you a chef? I'm preparing my own cooking show. Will you be writing up your little cakes? Souffle. And I don't know if they're special enough yet. Would you know of any other friends of Ms. Nelson that I could possibly call? Honestly, Detective, I, I don't know if she has any. If you think of anything, please feel free to contact me personally. Sure thing. God, I, I, I can't believe anything's happened to her. Throws of passion. Who gives the most, the man or the woman? Not the man, that's for sure. That's a great article, one of her best. Looks like she had many talents. She was tired of acting, that's why she wrote the advice columns. She was tired of being dependent on others. She said that to you? In so many words. Suicide, is that possible? And how is it that a woman who looks like that had no lovers? She gets a lot of phone calls, but she never answers. She changes her number all the time. Used to bother my fiance because you could hear it through the walls. <laughs> Saffron, honey, it's Christine. I just spoke with their casting director. It's not looking good. They need more name, value, A list. You know, shit. Okay. Everything looks wonderful. The treated concrete, the stainless, my kitchen lights, remote control. Well, you don't want to strain yourself. You went all out for me, babe. But this is all wrong. Isn't it standard? Well, it's not 40. It should be 40. Amy, darling, a 36 is standard. They gave you standard height. If you I wanted... like to be elevated when I cook, if you know what I mean. The heels add four inches, so the island has to come up by four. So spare no detail, spare no expense. Do you remember, Fred? The kitchen is my temple. Yeah, cash guzzling temple. Here you go, guy. Come on. I gotta go. You know why I love you, babe? Because when we went out to our first dinner at Le Gourmand, you said you could never be with a woman who can't cook. And what did I say? You said you could never be with someone who didn't appreciate a meal made with love. I'm so glad you're understanding. So you'll get him to finish it in three days, right? Yeah, I got him this far, didn't I? Dinner's at eight. 
Sorry about all the noise. Let me guess, model? More of a diva, I'd say. I need you at eight sharp, no delays. The integrity of the meal can't tolerate it. Because today, on the menu, we have... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Surprise me, babe. You know I know how to do that. Right. Can't wait. Bye. Mm. You know, sometimes I have to dig real deep to find a spiritual connection to poached over soul of the baby fennel. Come on, you love all her fancy Chateau de Chez Moi meals. The belly rules the mind. Nope. Her mind rules your belly. You could always join me for takeout at the Red Lantern. You know what they say about fast food? It's like pornography. Not much of a substitute for the real thing, but ready and available when you need it. Big account. It's a big fat account, big enough to pay for all these renovations account. Do you know how hard it is to roast an organic partridge without the proper convection oven? Honey, they fixed my counter. Hey, buddy. The lighting <laughs> is all wrong. Looks great to me. Well, not when you're standing behind the island. It needs to be more glamorous. Call the electrician. No one listens to me. Did you miss me today? I really missed you. That's my boy. How were the truffles? They were Paragor. The best. Did they overpower the partridge? Definitely not. Was the partridge young enough? Tender enough? Just like you, babe. Well, maybe not quite that tender. Are you sure I haven't gotten too tough? Too meaty? Well... It didn't seem that way to me last time I had a taste. It's been a few days. Maybe you should make sure. Time to play. Find the hidden spice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Are you focusing? Mm-hmm. Mm, sweet aroma. Solid structure. Come on, baby. Let's go to the couch. No, no, let's stay here. We can smell the wild truffles. Wild truffles, huh? I don't understand why Saffron would leave. According to her agent, she was up for a lot of parts. Her magazine articles were gobbled up by thousands of women. Agents will say anything. Another struggling actress? A bit shy on the leading roles. So you took an interest in her career? 
My oven. Excuse me, detective. I have a souffle that needs rescuing. Take me for granted. Half the entire staff got laid off. It wasn't my fault. Ugh! You take me for granted. Half the entire staff got laid off. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Half the entire staff got laid off. It's not. It. It wasn't my fault. Ugh! Ugh! Fuck! I can't do this. Saffron, you have rehearsed this for weeks. Everyone is waiting on you. Do not let them down. <laughs> I am your mother, Sahi. You no! listen to me. <laughs> Ten pounds, I know. Do you think that this lasts forever? We are ready. We're ready. Let's go. Come on, Safi. Smile. Not ready. Big smile. minutes. I gotta hit the road, babe. I got a big commercial appraisal out of town. You're gonna miss me when I land my own cooking show. Can't wait to see my favorite chef on TV. I'll see you later. Good morning, my fine feathered friend. Here's your good one. It's your neighbor. I have your mail. S. Nelson, 302. That's you, right? Yep. Thank you. Did you just move in? We've never met. No, I'm, I'm just not always here. Oh. Thanks. My pleasure. I'm Amy. Saffron. Hi, Mom. Do you remember my friend, Lou Rosen? Well, he is now the sole distributor for this new Ayurvedic antioxidant. No, he's a celebrity. I mean, he does TV ads and everything. And they use this ancient Chinese herb, and it just melts away the pounds. You know, it's probably pure speed. Why don't you just eat real food? He says it's completely organic. It's very, very healthy. And I'm going to send you some, because you need to hang on to that slim little figure of yours. Well, you still can. Really? I lost her when I started to put on some weight. And I don't want you going through the same kind of pain. Well, you lost her because he was a philandering jerk, and because you didn't know when to give in to him. To, but don't come complaining to me that no one tried to tell you so. When you watch Fred walk out of that door. Well, thanks, Mom, for the advice. You're welcome. Fred's not going anywhere. He's happy as a cherry stone clam.
the showroom glass as an asset? Yeah, the dead end street can hurt the value. Free Fred Grant, leave a message. I was hoping to take you to Earl's. It's the home of the mother of all burgers. Okay, Jennifer, you'll be next. Saffron! Thanks so much for coming down. Uh, listen, um, I don't mean to embarrass you. I told your agent this was a real long shot, but he hasn't been able to reach you. I, I've been away. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're looking for someone more, um, well, someone unknown. Younger? <laughs> a younger might help, but really a new face. If there isn't any money for the role, I already discussed this with Eric. You know what? I don't care. I love it. I, I, I will even read if there's no offer on the table. I will do whatever it takes. Okay. Someone younger then. Someone fresher. Fresher. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. It's so great to see mm. you. Jennifer, you can come on in now. The owner walks in and finds all this imported furniture and an entire family had moved into his office. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Yes, dear? Honey, I wish you'd return my calls. I've got deviled blue point crab cakes in the oven. They just came in fresh. You will go insane. Honey, I thought I told you I was on the road today. And pick up two bottles of Chablis on the way home. It's not too fruity. And try to make it by nine. Love you. Me too. Hmm. Oh, you, uh... A little. Right. There. Thanks. You're welcome. Do you fully taste the crab? Fully. Because most of the time in the restaurant, you only get the canned crab and the cornmeal. You know, he's got to get used to eating in his cage, or we'll never have a minute to ourselves. He likes watching you cook. Coach Bass. That's my boy. Sometimes I get the feeling my food doesn't interest you that much. You know what? Everything isn't always about food. Who's it, my boy? Do you realize I spent all day making that for you? Well, don't. Don't do it. You don't have to. You could do something simple for once. Like what, a TV dinner? Yeah, I've had them. Nobody's ever died from one, as far as I know. Well, it's never going to happen around here. I mean, what kind of woman serves her family a TV dinner? Well, maybe one that's got a life. How does it taste? Is it good? Is it too salty? Too spicy? God, I'm sick of hearing the same thing every single night. Is there nothing else worth thinking about? I can't believe how much you've changed. We've had the same conversation for the past year. Find something to do with your life. I am. Imagine me in front of a live studio audience. Not this again. A million viewers, all waiting with bated breath for me to deliver the next greatest dish. <sighs> you don't get it, Fredo, do you? This is my life. Mmm. I barely ate earlier. There must be some room for dessert in there. No room, all full? Come on, open up. You know the secret to making a good profiterole? Is you have to freeze the pastry first. Uh, baby. Start off with it nice and firm. I've been driving all day. That's why you need sugar. Cocoa lifts the spirit, it'll lift just about anything. I 
could have made you anything, like a cherry tart. But there's nothing like creamy chocolate and vanilla together. Uh. Hot and cold, fire and ice. <sighs> Tell me how you want me. No, enough is enough. No more fucking food. And Jesus Christ. We're going to bed. You don't have to be so blunt. I'm a perceptive girl. I tried to tell you that Jeffy likes it the way he likes it. Don't worry, I don't want my job back. I'm getting my own cooking show. What did he order? The moose feet. You know he still brings his co-workers here. Well, I didn't realize he fed them, too. I'll never like them when I made them. I try so hard to make him happy. It seems like I can never do enough. Sona's ready for seven, Lucas. Sometimes with all these clever gastronomic combinations and catering to people's desire, somebody's just bound to get hurt. Now we do what we do best in this show. Communicate those touchy feelings, which can only truly be expressed through cooking. All that pampering and posturing and pandering, just to get a response, a tiny spark of appreciation. And the minute a hot piece of ass comes your way, you're all over it like white on rice. Mool freep. Probably the only muscle she ever had was in the backseat of a car on her knees. Stick to your greasy burgers, girlfriend. What does all this mean that we have to lower the gastronomic bar? <sighs> Damn straight. Because food is an art, people, and true artists fight back through all the pain and indifference. They never give up. I thought our one-year engagement was special enough to break out my best silverware. I wanted everything to be perfect. I think it looks amazing, like one of those kitchens you see in a magazine. Well, not with the kitchen, I mean with the meal. How could you go wrong? You made my favorite. It's delicious. Actually, they ran out of the organic partridge, which is unusual because the delivery from Beaver Creek Farms is on Tuesday night. So I thought, well, you know, Fred, what can we do? You won't want meat because you probably snuck in a burger at lunch. Maybe mussels, fries, we always enjoyed that together. You know, we've been having these catered lunches at work. So I checked in my cooking journal, and I realized that on three out of the five occasions that I've made your favorite stuff game, that you haven't been able to really enjoy it. I wasn't? Well, no, because it has to be savored fresh out of the oven to fully appreciate the aroma and the fragrance and all of its intensity. We went over this. Do you remember? Look, Amy, if this is about me being insensitive, I apologize. Things at work have been, let's say, challenging. 
Well, challenging is when something you want makes you work harder to get it. Is that what you mean? Where are you going with this? Well, I thought, you know, don't get all uptight and throw around the four-letter words. Just let the wine decide what's gonna pair with this little lovebird. Where's Sebastian? Best man. Sebastian. Where is he? Saffron, Zany. Hi. 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 Um, I was just, I was going to the market and I was gonna make dinner and I was thinking maybe we could have dinner sometime. Uh, tonight's not a good night. I'm, I'm really behind on a deadline. Oh, I wasn't thinking about tonight. I'm so busy too. Um, what about next week? Not a good week for me. <clears throat> Well, I'll just check back in with you. I, I appreciate the dessert. <sighs> Did you like the profiteroles? Oh yeah, they were wonderful, thank you. <sighs> Did you like the way the hot and the cold mixed together? And Thank you, appreciate it. Mmm. Mmm, don't you just love the smell of fresh baking? I'm sorry to keep asking, Amy, but something is bothering me about your neighbor. You said she was a recluse. Now, where does a recluse come up with all that advice about sex? Well, maybe she had a lover. All you need is one. Did you uh, ever see any of her movies? Not that I recall. I don't really follow who's who, except in the kitchens. Go ahead. Hi. You know, I'm really just a meat and potatoes kind of guy. Oh, a bite won't kill you. I'd love to, but I have this uh, bad flap that if I eat something like this, I get... I, I even take a pill for it. <sighs> hmm. Mm. You know, they sell you the vanilla extract and it's not pure. That is unfair. What about you? Anyone in your life? No, no one. Well, someone is definitely missing out. I got rid of the last one. I'm free as a bird. <laughs> Sometimes you get so far gone that you can't see what's good for you anymore. And when a new opportunity presents itself, you have to go for it. Mmm, now fish on crew with lemon butter sauce isn't as intimidating as it sounds. A dish like this speaks volumes. It says, I've made this for you with affection. May I suggest fish en croute with lemon butter sauce? I just renovated my kitchen, so it's kind of a celebration. Thank you for thinking of me, but I've already eaten dinner. Well, then keep it and eat it later. No, no, I really, I, I, I couldn't. I know you think I'm pushy, but you can't afford to be shy when it comes to food. <laughs> hmm. Do you live by yourself? Yep. You know, I wasn't sure at first that it was you. But then there was something, I don't know. It made me think about being a kid. Yeah, kid shows were fun back then. Too bad the asshole producers took all the fun away. I used to watch your show every night after dinner. It was like you were part of the family. That's 
it's wonderful, Amy. But I have, I have work I, I need to get back to. Oh, um, en croute means in a crust. It's a flounder in a puff pastry. Actually, I know what en croute means. Oh, of course, you're so sophisticated. I hope you approve. I made it specially for you. You're so skinny. I need to lose some weight. I should be like 10 pounds lighter for my height. And you're still so pretty, Saffron. I'm, I'm flattered, but sadly, I've already eaten. It would really make my day if you would just try it right now while the lemon cream is still hot and tangy enough to really do its job. Come on, I dropped a bomb on the stove. I need to know if it's worth the money. Of course, it was idiot's money, but. Mm. It's delicious. Really? Mm -hmm. You really think so? Mm. I really, really need to get back to my work. I'm so happy we're neighbors, you have no idea. Let me know how the cream works. Don't let it sit too long, because it'll lose all of its flavor. Bye. Welcome back to Food for Love, where we transform dinner into a romantic love affair. Now, with rack of lamb with truffled ragu, you're going to want to have your butcher French the bones, unless you're handy with a meat cleaver, which I personally am not. I've always been partial to the black truffle oil of France. Now, truffles are libido enhancers because they're rich in... Amino acid! This dish is really all about meat. Fred used to say, I didn't fight my way to the top of the food chain to be a vegetarian. Who says those vegetarians don't let their inner animal out in the bedroom? in here. <clears throat> you were amazing in that. You fought it out with a broken leg for half the movie. And I actually broke my leg making the movie. Wow. I hope they paid you a lot. You have to ask my mother. She took care of all that. For me? It's rack of lamb with truffled ragu. I made it special for you. That is very kind of you. I'm, I'm just not hungry. I figured that. But did you know that protein is essential for a strong libido? A study showed that women who don't eat enough red meat have weaker orgasms. I don't eat meat. I can tell that by looking at you, but you haven't tried my meat dishes. My kind of girl. I love your column. I try to make women feel young and powerful. We don't often feel that way. For someone who writes about sex, I'm surprised you don't eat meat. Really? Half of India is vegetarian and they don't have the problem reproducing. But do they enjoy the sex? Fred loved meat. More than he loved me, apparently. Oh, it's like this lamb was born in this sauce. Mmm, just try it. Excuse me. You have to eat or you're gonna die.
just get your way down. And you try to sneak one of these in? You know, you have to watch what you eat. No, Zappy, try it. Do you have any idea what I have sacrificed for your career? I love you. Yeah, how's it going? Very. Bob. So this is the little lady Saffron, huh? You're a pretty than your hedgehog. No, no. <laughs> Too bad. They make you so hot. <laughs> mm. Jack's right over there, babe. He's our piggyback. Why don't you go shake his tree? Why don't we talk about you, Angel Face? Angel Face. Okay. I'll make the thing. How is Fred? As far as I remember, no man's ever lasted more than six months with you. Do we have a new record? Fred's infatuated with me. There's no other woman he'd shed blood for. That's wonderful, sweetheart. So do you have a job? I'm preparing my own cooking show. You'll never guess who my new neighbor is. She lives right in my building. Do you remember Saffron Nelson? Season of love, silent laughter. Twilight Pearl. She was so beautiful. Oh, you must have watched every single show. Did you introduce yourself? Introduce myself? I am making her dinner. So can I meet her? You know how it is with celebrities. They're very private. You have to be respectful. Feel out the situation. Today's mystery ingredient says, I'm an introvert who handles stress poorly. Eat me so you can get laid real fast. What am I? An oyster. Very good. A real student of both the kitchen and the bedroom. Oysters and sex have something in common. They're both that good that you close an eye to the mess that they make. Open. I know you're busy. I'm just checking in. I know what it must be like with the reading, the auditions, the pressure. The hardest thing is not having someone to talk to. To really talk to. Did he leave you? I left him. How can someone be so needy and yet so unresponsive to someone else's needs? It's not hard, trust me. It's so hard being alone. You're one of the lucky ones. You chose what you wanted to do, and it worked out. Oh, yeah, they're just knocking my door down, trying to hire me. Haven't you seen them all? Will you let me know how the booyah base is? I know you love oysters. I made this for you, inspired by your scene from Twilight Pearl. You were unforgettable. I didn't actually eat an oyster. You didn't? Please just try it. <laughs> I'll just leave it here.
Don't make me go back to my cookbook, Safi. Gonna get cold. You don't know what you're missing. Natural as sex. I used to wrap my knuckles. Then I would chuck on the fucking toilet paper. Once I even used a plastic spoon when I was so afraid it would go down. I wanted to get out so bad. And then when I was really ready to bail, I saw what I was up against. They all needed me. They all fed off me. Even my own father. I supported him for like 20 years. If it wasn't for me, he'd probably be in prison. I'm sorry. I thought my father was a deadbeat. Safi, what can I do? Be someone who doesn't want anything from me. Can you do that? I really need to be alone, please. Please give me another chance to cook for you, to make you feel whole. You, you can't see it, can you? See what? The line went to quit. Just let me make you something simple.
it's open. You look lovely. I didn't think you'd come. You could run lines with me for my audition. I would love that. Have a seat. I made you a ginger coriander broth. Is it all right? Mm -hmm. The ginger root will relax your stomach. Mm. Is it is it too spicy? No. I was careful with the ginger root. No, no, it's um, <clears throat> it's a lot on my mind. Mm. Mm. Ah, that was good. You didn't eat very much. I, I I baked you a goat cheese and tomato tart. No, just just sit. Do you mind if I if I smoke? Oh, of course. Uh, I'm done too. Oh. Ashtray. Mm. Let's um. Let's find these lines. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. You are. You're Nicole. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And um, don't feel like you have to act. Mm -hmm. Just. You know, just read it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. You said to go with our instincts, right? Get in touch with our animal side. If I were an animal, which animal would I be? I don't know, maybe a horse? Come on, Dr. Man, you know me better than that. A boa constrictor. Not bad, but too physical, too much effort spent, and not enough strategy. A scorpion. Too obvious, stings its mate, a no-brainer for the arachnoid vice squad. A net thrower. What's that? A spider that throws a net on its prey, stings it, and sucks it dry. <sighs> Glad to see this game amuses you, Nicole. <laughs> Why don't you come up to my ranch this weekend? You'd love the mountains. No, I, I couldn't, Dr. Patient. Confidentiality, I know. It's funny. I feel like I've known you forever. It happens. But if it gets in the way of the work, it can be dangerous. That was terrible. No, you were great. Um, should we try it one more time? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You said go with our instincts, right? Get in touch with our animal side. A net throw. <gasps> can you believe this dialogue? Okay, no. a boa constrictor. I'm saffron. You're good. <laughs> ready? I'm going to be very demure in this Demure. Are okay. you ready for me? Uh -huh. Okay, and action. You said to go with our instincts, right? Get in touch with our animal side. If I were an animal, which animal would I be? A horse. A horse. See, wow. Who talks like this? <laughs> Who actually talks like this? <laughs> it's a spider that throws a net. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come up to my ranch this weekend? You'd love the mountains. No, I can't. Doctor patient. Confidentiality, I know. It's funny. I feel like I've known you forever. It happens. If it gets in the way of the work, it can be very, very dangerous. Amazing. <sighs> Just got distracted. It was so good. Uh, you know what? I'm absolutely <laughs> hideous. Oh, I am. Oh, that, was, oh, that was great. <sighs> but I'm impressed with everything you do. <laughs> Thank you. I think you're going to get this job, Safi. I can feel it. No. Not when they have every head cheerleader Texas ever produced. That's who they really deserve. Not according to your agent. He says they want you. Y-O-U, right? I, um, I need to rest. But thank you. Um, <clears throat> I can run lines with you tomorrow. If you, I can even go with you if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Um, ha. I was on YouTube, and I have something for you. I thought you might enjoy this. <laughs> I'm Saffron Nelson. I'm nine years old, and I'm with EC Talent. Okay, hon, you can do anything you want. What are you gonna do for us? 
I'm gonna do an old classic. Is that all right? Uh-huh. Now don't you listen, honey, while I say How could you tell me that you're going away? Don't say that we must part Don't break my aching heart You know I loved you truly many years Loved you night and day How could you leave me? Can't you see my tears? Listen while I say After you're gone and left me crying After you're gone, there's no crying You're gonna be great. They'll love you, just like they always did. Just be yourself. <laughs> Trust me, the real me would never please any of these people. Good luck. I knew we'd find something for you. You're perfect for this. Come on in. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, okay, anytime you're ready, Saffron. Hello, my name is Safran Nelson. I'm with Talent Unlimited, and I will be reading for Dr. Mann. I'm Safran. I'm sorry, um, the light's very bright, I can't see. The unforgettable Safran Nelson. Still looking good, Safran. I'm still looking out for you. It's okay to be a little nervous. It's okay to be a little nervous. Be so bright. How does it feel to be so breathtaking? Don't worry. Your mother, trust me, that's why she's given you to me. Because it's what Bob expects from you. Because it's what Bob expects from you. You are gonna be a star. Is that right? A star like no one. Because you're a movie star. Because you're a movie star, that's why. <laughs> for you, Safi. You can't tell me it wasn't a good ride. Saffron? 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 Saffron, you okay? Oh, I fell asleep. It was so sweet. Do you put this much effort into everyone? Or am I special? You can do. You're perfect for it. 
aren't you? I'll love you forever. And you'll have me forever. Feels wonderful. Kiss me. something. For you. To remember me. I've always loved you, Sam. Did you say she was depressed about her work? D did you hear what I said? <sighs> well, who isn't these days? Yeah, but what makes someone check out just like that, if indeed that's what she did? She was definitely temperamental. Well, she was an actor. What do you expect? I have a surprise for you. You being a meat and potatoes guy. So don't even think about insulting the chef by letting my last portion go to waste. You won't soon forget this. It's. The best dish I've ever made. Now that is real gourmet. Mm. But you know, it, it, it's funny. When I was doing a background check, I found out that there was no mention of your cooking show. Well, you have to hang on to your privacy. I saw what that stuff did to Saffron. Nothing's private these days, Amy. The show will be on soon. The network likes to keep it under wraps. And how about this? Do you, uh, recognize that? Well, I'm not a bird expert. Your ex fiancés pet African Grey? I saw the police report. 
there's a very disturbing allegation. Now, now, did you think we wouldn't interview him? That bird just didn't fly away, did it? He's upset because he put this place in my name. But who could invent that? Invent what? That you fed it to him. That bird flew away, like saffron. I don't see what this has to do with my missing neighbor. At this point, I don't know. But I plan on finding out. People just don't disappear. Well, I have nothing to hide. Get a search warrant. Cooking is supposed to make you feel loved. Because when you've got love, you've got the whole universe.